And now for a look at stories making headlines around the world, and we start with the fate of the Iran nuclear deal. European powers have urged the U.S. to uphold the 2015 agreement signed by President Trump's predecessor, Barack Obama. For more on this and other news, we turn to our Adam at the News Center. Adam, what were some of the comments made by the European officials? Well, Simon, mean, the foreign ministers of Britain, France, Germany and the European Union met with their Iranian counterpart in Brussels on Thursday to reaffirm their commitment to the accord. They said the deal was vital for international security and the British Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson, said a better deal would be hard to come by. I want to, I want to stress, uh, just in conclusion, that I don't think anybody has so far produced a better alternative to the JCPOA as a way of preventing uh, the Iranians from going ahead with the acquisition of a military nuclear capability. And I think it's on, incumbent on those who, who oppose the JCPOA really to, to come up with that better solution because we haven't seen it so far. The EU's foreign policy chief Federica Mogherini added that the international community must also be united in preserving the deal which she said helped make the world a safer place and prevent a nuclear arms race in the region. The JCPOA signed by Obama three years ago lifted sanctions on Iran in return for the regime to put drastic curbs on its nuclear program. President Trump has called it, quote, the worst deal ever, threatening to reimpose those sanctions. The plea by the European ministers came a day before President Trump has to decide whether to sign a series of waiver, waivers to keep the suspension of sanctions intact. The U.S. State Department said it expects a decision to be made later Thursday or by the Friday deadline.